and Dr. Mike from the Springfield Wellness Center. And what we're going to talk about today is the ACL. So both the rehab side of things, how it's injured, what it does. So the ACL is a tiny little ligament that attaches the upper leg bone to the lower leg bone, so the femur to the tibia. It sits behind the kneecap and it's a very, very, very injured, uh, commonly injured um, ligament within the knee itself primarily in sports that involve um, fast cutting, so planting of a foot in a real quick turn. So we're thinking maybe football, we're talking basketball, we're talking soccer, much more prevalent in those sports. The other prevalence that we tend to see is a little bit more prevalent in females. Couple of reasons um, for that. One is that ligaments a little bit smaller in females, so not quite as sturdy or steady as what it may be in their male counterparts. The second is what we call a Q angle. So it's the angle from where the femur starts in the hip socket to the knee and then down to the lower leg. Men have a pretty straight Q angle from the hip down to the toe itself. Females kind of come out to the side and come back in. Primary evolutionary reason for this is childbearing. So a little bit more of a passageway for, for a baby to come on through during the birthing process. So with that being said, some extra stress gets placed into that, that um, inner portion of the knee and those cutting, jumping type of sports. First type of uh, treatment that we're going to talk about for this is going to be some rehab stuff. And so if you already have a torn ACL or you already have injured it, you know, a partial tear, full tear, they're talking about surgery. Common knowledge shows us that the, the stronger those joints and those muscles are going into surgery, the stronger you're then going to be coming out of the surgery. And so um, whether it's post-surgical or pre-surgical, the stuff that you're going to do is going to be pretty much the same. The main focus exercise wise that we're going to look at is strengthening the quad as well as the glutes couple of really easy ways to do that. One is going to be a lunge. So whether you're doing a step out full knee to ground lunge or you're doing maybe a half of a rep of a lunge, obviously it wants to, we want to make sure that it's within the, the realm of ability and capability that you can do based on that. Second is going to be what we call a sled drag. And so a sled drag is you have an apparatus, you put some weights on it, have some straps that are wrapped around your shoulders. Typically when we're doing a sled drag, we're dragging it from behind us, so it's pulling behind us. With the prehab rehab, we want to actually do the opposite effect. So if my sled is over here, I want to be facing towards it, and by walking backwards, we're going to get a lot greater activation of the glutes as well as the quads to help to make, make sure that the muscles are good and strong going into or coming out of a surgical uh, standpoint. Same thing in terms of weight-wise, we're going to basically make it to every individual's capability. So, you know, a 30-year-old athlete versus a 50, 60-year-old individual that, that you know, recreational sport-wise tears it, obviously going to be a little bit of a change on that. Last one is going to be some chair squats. And so I, I believe we've demonstrated these before, but we can do them in two different ways. The one is going to be a two-footed chair squat. So I'm basically just going to be sitting my way down to a chair, standing all the way back up. If that's easy or too easy for you, we can actually just do it without the chair being present. This is a little bit safer way, so we're not getting too much of a shearing force through that knee when we go with that full butt to ground kind of squat. The other version of this will be called a pistol single leg squat. We're to start out on one leg, we're gonna sit ourselves down into our apparatus or just straight to the ground, stand our way back up. With that, we're getting a really good activation of the quads as well as the glutes, a little bit more so than what we would get if we're doing a, a two-legged squat. A really effective method that we can do either in terms of prehab or rehab after a surgery is going to be Graston. So whenever we have injury to a muscle, a ligament, whatever, we're going to get some scar tissue built up. Like I said, pre-surgical or post-surgical, we're going to see kind of the exact same thing. And so pre-surgical, the adage being that the, the stronger the joint, the ligament, the muscle, everything is prior to surgery, the stronger you are going to be then coming out of it as well. And so in terms of Graston, what we're going to focus on, so if we're looking at the knee complex itself, the, fo the area that we're really going to focus in on is going to be this bottom quarter of our quadricep muscle. Anything from the top of the kneecap across and through here, because anytime that we have that ligamentous injury, so deep to the kneecap, the muscles around it are going to respond a little bit differently as well. And so if we have our Graston tool, the main focus of what we're going to do is going to be breaking up scar tissue along the lower portion of the quadricep to help that muscle and that, that joint track a little bit better. So if that muscle's not tracking quite right in terms of the kneecap, it's going to create a little bit more of a sheer force in there as well. The other area that we're going to have a big focus on is going to be the scar itself. And so if somebody goes in, they get a full you know, ACL reconstruction, scar is healed up, and what, we're going to, what we can then do is same thing, using our grass and tool, go right at the area of the incision to help to, once again, break up that scar tissue. That, that scar itself will sometimes adhere to the muscles beneath it. We need to make sure that's good and fully mobile. So once again, as we're doing that motion, we're getting that real nice gliding motion amongst the joint itself. What we're going to talk about for that is going to be laser. And so we've got our, our laser here. 
couple of different heads that we have on it. And for the knee itself, the, the primary focus is gonna be working 360 on the knee. So not just specifically at the point of where the, the tear may be or the scar may be or the surgery may have been done, but working the entire knee joint structure. The reason being is that if we irritate that ligament, tear it, partial tear, or just a, a strain of it, if nothing else, when we're looking at that, we wanna make sure that the rest of the knee complex is good and strong. When we take away motion or we have irritation or an injury to one spot or the other, the other muscles, ligaments, joint that's that surround that area need to work a little bit harder to keep that joint good and stable. And so when we work in terms of um, with the, the laser on this, so if we're looking at the knee, we're gonna do a lot of focus on the lower portion of the quad. We're gonna get into deep under the kneecap and around the kneecap, but then also we're gonna work through the posterior side of the knee as well. The, the basic premise of this being is that we're sending light waves into that injured tissue to help aid in that healing process. And so we're bringing more oxygen, bringing more blood flow, bringing more nutrients into that area to, like I said, if it's on a prehab setting, we're basically trying to make that ligament and the muscles as good and strong and flexible as possible prior to surgery. If it's after a surgical thing, we're trying to break up scar tissue. So whether it be the scar itself or just the irritation where they went in and had to sew it back together, really trying to make sure that even at that deep cellular level, we're inducing that healing a little bit better for that. Hopefully you found this informative. If you did, like it, share it with your friends. To find out more about the Springfield Wellness Center and all the other services we offer, head over to our Facebook page or check out our YouTube channel.